Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Irish Streamer Network, is presented by Phil Elms. I'm freshman Julia Woodson alongside, alongside Scholars Bowl member Nathan Geis to talk about the team's performance in this year's competition. Nathan, thanks for joining us today. Mm -hmm. First, tell us how well the team did this year. Uh, I think we did really well. We made it to the Elite Eight, which is the top eight out of the 52 schools that competed. And um, I think that was the best we have done since four years ago, where apparently we made second place. Right. How are you guys surprised or not surprised by how well y'all were able to advance? Um, I don't think we were that surprised. We have a lot of different talents, a lot of people who were really good at different things especially in literature and the arts. So a lot of schools are really into math and science or history, but those always get kind of missed out. So we had strong, strong people in those areas, so we were able to do very well. What was it like to beat our arch nemesis, Webb, and what was the margin of that victory? I was very pleased that we beat Webb, and that felt amazing. Um, we beat them by three times as many points as they got. So I think the score was 300 something to 100. Okay. Who did y'all lose to in the Elite Eight and what was the score of that matchup? We lost the STEM and that score was within 100 points. So I think, uh, I can't remember what the exact score was, but it was pretty close. And it was disappointing because we had gotten so far. And, there, and one of the reasons they won was they had this one guy who was very quick with the buzzer. He would, he would know what the question was asking halfway through. So it's, you know, this is what happens. It's frustrating when you know the qu answer to the question, but somebody just answers it first. Yeah. Um, what were some of the questions you had to answer? Do you remember them? Uh, I remember the web game. The first question was, who wrote the Rhapsody in Blue? And I answered that one, George Gershwin. And then it would be things like, NASA discovered this element recently what is element 56 and the other team that was stem they got that right somehow yeah. and then it would, um, sometimes it was like who said this and there was a pope francis quote over climate change recently so it's it's all across the board you know you have social studies science math uh, literature music and so on uh, what subject do you believe was the hardest for me it was history but thomas morris is really good at history mm. What do you credit to this year's team making it so far in the competition? I think we just have a lot of dif different strengths coming together, mm -hmm. so it all works together. Finally, who's your coach and how often do you guys practice? So our coaches are Mr. LaForest and Dr. Kearse, and um, we practice twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, second half of lunch, so really about an hour a week. but. Um, actually heard apparently Mr. LaForest said this that uh, we practice all day when you sit in class you know how do you practice like do these they have these books where they just ask trivia questions so basically it's just answering trivia questions it's hard to practice I mean is it fun yeah it's fun I'd go there even if we didn't have a competition well thanks Nathan for talking with us today over lunch and good luck to the entire team next year and congratulations again for this year's awesome win. Folks, I'm Joey Woodside with the Ice Cream Network, which has been by Snowball Homes. As always, go Irish.